Okay, good day learners. Um, in this video we are still looking at the grade 12 analytical geometry um, questions. Uh, in the previous video we discussed now um, the equation of the circle um, that we use in analytical geometry. This equation is on your formula sheet. Um, x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is r squared and we discussed that um, a lot of the times you'll have to do double of com double completing of the square to get the equation in this form. And then we also discussed getting the um, equation of a tangent to a circle, um, which is something that I ask quite often. And in this video, we are just going to look then at a few more challenging questions or um, some, some different things. Uh, so, right, we're going to start here, um, this is from the answer series textbook, um, page 1.35. We're going to start here with equation, um, with question, sorry, uh, 27. The equation of a circle in the Cartesian plane is x squared plus y squared plus 6x minus 2y minus 15 is equal to 0. So the equation of this circle, rewrite the equation in the form. Um, standard form, you see. Um, so this is very typical as I've said, so we're going to start with this question 27.1. The equation that they give to me here is x squared plus y squared plus 6x minus 2y minus 15 is equal to 0 and I must write this in standard form, um, in this form. So I'm going to do the double completing of the square. So I group my x's, the x squared plus 6x here together. I want to add something here to make it a perfect square. And um, then I group the y's. So I have y squared minus 2y. And I need something there is equal to. And the 15 I don't want on this side. Um, I'm rather just going to move it to the other side then I'm ready now to do my completing of the square. And I said in the previous video, if you have another method that you do for completing of the square, that's fine. Um, what I do is I just take the b value, I half it into the square below, so that's going to be 3. And then this value here I'm going to square, which is then 9, and add that both sides in the previous step, um, which seems a bit weird. Normally in math we go from this step to this step to this step to this step and in this um, method of working um, I go to the next step and then back to the previous step. Uh, it just makes it easier for me um, the procedure of completing the square. So I'm going to take this one half it which is then negative 1. Um, y minus 1 and then take the negative 1 and square it which is then positive 1 and add that both sides on the, in the previous step. So I half it, square it, add both sides, half it, there it is, square it, add both sides and then um, 15 plus 9 plus 1 that's 25. Okay so this is in standard form question 27.1. 27.2 says, calculate the length of the tangent drawn to the circle from point P, 8 minus 1, outside the circle. Um, let's quickly just look there at the question again. Okay, so I want the length of this tangent there. Okay, um, from that point P, 8 minus 1. Now the problem here, I don't have that point of tangency there, which is which seems a bit weird. Um, I'm just going to quickly redraw the sketch here so I can scratch on it. Um, so there's a circle with a tangent that goes to the point P, 8 minus 1. Um, now they want this length, and normally to get the length I need the two coordinates, which I don't have, but um, what do I have? There's the center of the circle, and if I just draw in those two lines, um, I have the coordinates of that center that is going to be at negative 3, 1, 
is the coordinates of the center of the circle, negative 3, 1. The AB in your equation is the coordinates of the center of the circle. And because of the negative there in the formula, you must just use the opposite signs. So if there's a plus 3, the x value is negative 3. If there's a minus 1, you see the minus is in the formula. The b is just 1. Okay, so there's the coordinates of my center of the circle. So I can get this length here um, by the two formulas there. Can I get this length there? Yes, well, that's the radius, which I can see is going to be 5. Yes. And this is a 90 degree triangle because I know a tangent and a radius is perpendicular to one another. And then I can just use Pythagoras to calculate this length here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to calculate the length of OP using the distance formula. The length of OP is difference in x squared plus difference in y squared 8 minus negative 3 difference in x minus 1 minus 1 difference in y um, and then you can just type that into your calculator so I have there a root of 8 plus 3 squared plus a root of negative 1 negative 1 is negative 2 squared and that gives me 5 root 5. Um, I'm just going to leave it like that. Although I would rather work with this um, normally. I would rather write down the decimal values. But I still need to calculate something with this now further. Um, this is just the length of OP which is 5 root 5. And I want to calculate this. So I want to work with this one further. And if you round it off to... Um, quickly, you, you're you not going to get accurate answers there. So to not round it off, um, you can either keep it like this or you must work with this entire um, decimal, which is uncomfortable. So let's just keep it like that. And then the length of, that is T on the sketch, the length of TP squared is equal to OP squared minus OT squared by Pythagoras. And then OP is 5 root 5 squared minus OT is 5 squared. And that is then 5 squared is 25 and root 5 squared is 5 minus 25. So 25 times 5 minus 25 is going to be 100. Okay. And the square root of that is then 10. Um, so TP is, whoop, okay, TP is 10 units, I suppose. Um, they're not really talking about centimeters or anything. So TP is 10 units. That's question 27.2. And then question 27.3 says, Determine the y-intercepts of the circle. Now, like with anything else in functions, um, to determine y-intercepts, I want to make x zero. So that is my equation of the circle. x plus 3 squared plus y minus 1 squared is 25. To calculate the y-intercepts, I make x zero. You see, um, the rest of the equation, I just keep the same. I just made that x zero and then this is now well three squared which is nine i'm going to multiply out y minus one times y minus one jump the nine over then that becomes 25 minus nine which is 16 and this is then y squared minus y minus y so minus 2y plus 1 and oh actually I need it on this side so that I have a standard form equation so y squared minus 2y plus 1 minus 16 is minus 15 is equal to 0 and this you can just factorize or use the quadratic formula um, or complete the square if you're up for a challenge to solve then I get y is equal to 5 or y is equal to 
negative 3. And the question say determine the y-intercept, so this is fine. Just double check if the question said determine the coordinates of the y-intercepts, you need to write it like this. Um, there's my coordinates where x is 0, y is 5 or negative 3. But this question just said the y-intercept, so that's fine actually. Okay, that's question 27. Let's look at question 28. Okay, question 28. Um, the point M21 is the midpoint of the chord of PQ of the circle. Um, x squared plus y squared minus x minus 2y minus 5 is 0. Uh, determine the coordinates of the center A of the circle. Um, sometimes with questions like this, there's no sketch, and it might actually help you to just draw a sketch um, there to, to give you an idea of what's going on. But the first question, not necessary for a sketch. This is fairly standard. There is the equation not in standard form, and to determine the coordinates of the center of the circle, I need to write it in standard form, um, which I'm going to do first. So, the equation given to me here, x squared plus y squared minus x minus 2y minus 5, you see this is something that will occur quite often in many questions, um, the double completing of the square. So make sure you are comfortable with this, as this is fairly routine. You'll see this quite often. So I group my x's, my y's, I jump the 5 over, and now I'm ready to complete the square. I'm going to take the b value, which is negative 1 here, half it, making it negative half, and then square it, which is a um, positive a quarter, and add positive a quarter both sides. Then there the y. Um, I'm going to take the b value of it, which is negative 1, square it, 1, and add that both sides, and then this I'm just going to add it 6 and a quarter, um, but I would rather write it as 25 over 4 and not 6 and a quarter, so 25 over 4. And the first thing they wanted to know is determine the coordinates of the center A of the circle. So the center is going to be at positive a half, because the sign is wrong, and positive 1. Positive a half, positive 1. That's question 28.1. Question 28.2 says determine the radius of the circle. So the radius is going to be, that's radius squared, right? So radius squared is 25 over 4. That means the radius is going to be 5 over 2. Uh, 28.3. If the chord PQ is perpendicular to IM, determine the equation of the chord PQ. Okay, so here I'm going to just need a sketch. Um, to just help myself figure out what's going on here. They say there's a chord PQ right of the circle in the beginning of the question. They said the midpoint of PQ is M um, is the coordinates 2, 1. Okay, M is the coordinates 2, 1, which is the midpoint of a chord PQ. Now they say um, they already made me calculate the um, coordinates of A, the center of the circle, A, the center of the circle, is at a half 1, right? A half 1. This is not necessarily correct exactly on a, um, if I go and draw it on a um, Cartesian plane, the coordinates on not, the PQ is not necessarily there, so that, that it might be there or there, but I'm just trying to get a visualization of what's happening here. And now, in this question, they say, if the chord PQ is perpendicular to AM, so this is perpendicular, determine the equation of the chord PQ. So I want the equation of this chord, which is very similar to the question um, of the tangent, because I have the one point on this chord and the chord and, the, and that, that 
if there is perpendicular. I have these two points so I can get this gradient and then from this gradient I can get that gradient and substitute that. That's not very difficult. Okay, so I'm first going to get the gradient of AM is going to be difference in Y, which is 1 minus 1, over difference in X, 2 minus a half. And the 1 minus 1 is immediately a half, so it doesn't even matter what's happening there. Ah, 1 minus 1 is 0. So this is 0 over 1 and a half, but 0. Okay, so the gradient of this line there is 0. Now, what on earth is the gradient of that line? If this gradient is zero, okay, now you should actually know a gradient zero is a flat line and something that's perpendicular to that is going to be a exactly a vertical line. So actually, I need to turn this around a little bit just so you can see. Actually, um, this is a flat line. This gradient is zero. So on my... Um, x, y coordinates, the gradient is zero, meaning this is a flat line and this is then a line that's um, parallel to the y axis, meaning this line's equation is just x is equal to whatever the value of x is, 2. So, I mean, that means the equation of pq, pq is given by x is equal to 2. Um, Horizontal lines is y is equal to whatever y value they go through. And vertical lines, the equation is x is equal to whatever x value they go through. So x is 2. Um, 28.4, calculate the coordinates of P and Q. Um, okay, well... P and Q both lie on the circumference of the circle, right? So they should be able to um, to fit this, this equation that I worked through. And since PQ goes through the equation X is equal to 2, it's actually the, the points of intersection between this line PQ with this equation and the circle with this equation. So you can do simultaneous equations um, which is fairly simple because this is x is 2. So into that equation, I'm just going to make the x 2. So I have 2 minus a half squared plus y minus 1 squared is equal to 25 over 4, um, which this is 3 over 2 squared or 9 over 4. You can just double check with your calculator. Um, 2 minus a half squared is 9 over 4 um, plus and I'm going to multiply this out y minus 1 y minus 1 is equal to 25 over 4 um, let's quickly oh I actually want to this is a quadratic equation so I want everything on one side so 9 over 4 minus 25 over 4 9 over 4 minus 25 over 4 is going to be negative 16 over 4 or negative 4. Okay, so if I bring this over, 9 over 4 minus 24 over 4 is negative 4. Plus, and then multiply this out, you get y squared minus 2y plus 1 is equal to 0. So this equation in standard form here is y squared minus 2y minus 3 is 0 and then I can simplify or factorize or use the quadratic equation or whatever method you prefer to find the solution um, y is equal to 3 or negative 1. Right, so they want to know what's the coordinates of P and Q. Now since the equation um, of PQ, I'm just going to turn this on the x-axis, the equation of PQ is um, x is equal to 2 everywhere on this line, x is going to be equal to 2, so that is going to be the coordinate 2 something, and this is going to be the coordinate 2 something, and I just found the two um, y values, um, I suppose, 
it doesn't really matter whether this is P and this is Q or you might be labeled P and Q like the other way around but the coordinates of P and Q is going to be 2, 3 and 2, negative 1. The X is 2 everywhere on that line so the coordinates of the P and the Q and whether you label this PQ or PQ I don't suppose it should matter. Um, and then question 28.5, determine the equation of the tangent to the circle at the point 2, 3. Okay, so the equation of the tangent to the circle at the point 2, 3. Oh, it's actually one of these points. So let's make this sumo 2, 3. I want to calculate the equation of the tangent there. So, um, as I said, I'm going to start off by calculating calculating the gradient of this radius between the points of 1 and 2, 3. Um, use my um, gradient equation to calculate the gradient and then from that I can get the gradient of the tangent and then I'm going to substitute the gradient with this point into my straight line equation. So. I'm just going to quickly write the two points here so that I have them because I now turn the page. The A is a half 1. The center of the circle is at a half 1. And the P is the point 2, 3, uh, which I want to work with. So the gradient of the radius is going to be difference in y, 3 minus 1, 3 minus 1, over difference in x, 2 minus half. And you can just use your calculator for that. I think it's 3. Um, 3 minus 1 over 2 minus... Um, a half. Oh, 4 over 3. Okay, so the gradient of the radius there is 4 over 3. That means that the gradient of the tangent times 4 over 3 should be negative 1 because the tangent is always perpendicular to the radius. So the gradient of the tangent times the gradient of the radius should be negative 1. Then the gradient of that tangent is negative 1 divided by 4 over 3 which is negative 3 over 4 and then I'm just going to use my straight line equation mx plus c and p is the point 2, 3 of the tangent so that point I want to substitute with my gradient into this equation so the, the point 2, 3 with the gradient is negative 3 over 4. I want to substitute now in here. So the y is equal to 3, the m is equal to negative 3 over 4, the x is equal to 2 plus c, and then from this, the c is 3. If I take this over, it's going to become a plus, plus 3 over 4 times 2. So the C is 9 over 2, and then the equation of that tangent is Y is equal to MX plus C. Okay, negative 3 over 4X plus 9 over 2, and that is the question. Okay, um, we're going to do one more question in this video before we finish. Um, I want to look at this question 34 here. It says, in the diagram alongside the center C of the circle there lies on the straight line 3x plus 4y plus 7. So they give me this equation of the straight line. The straight line cuts the circle at D and E where E is the point negative 1, negative 1. Um, the circle touches the y-axis at the point P negative 2, uh, P02. So P02, there it cuts the y-axis. Um, determine the equation of the circle in the form x minus n squared plus y minus q squared plus r. Okay. Yoi. 
right? So I have this circle equation there with one point on it. Oh, the, the straight line equation, I have that um, with one point. Now, that does not help me to, um, to get this distance or that distance or that distance for that matter. Um, to determine the um, equation of the circle, I need the length of the radius, obviously, and I need the... Um, the coordinates of that center. So the first thing I'm going to try and do um, maybe is try to <coughs> okay, is try to get the um, hmm Okay, I want to get this. Um, all right. The first thing I, I think I want to do is let's write down the equation of the circle just. Um, I'm probably going to have to do some sort of question 34. The equation of a circle is x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared. Okay, so I can maybe substitute in the point 0, 02 that I have here that lies on the circumference of the circle. 0, 02, um, x is 0, y is 2, and I do not have the length of the radius. Okay. So I'm going to substitute in the point 0, 2 plus 2 minus b squared is r squared. Then this produces a squared is oh, a squared plus 2 minus b squared is equal to radius squared. Okay, now this is an equation with three variables missing, a, b, and r. Um, the next thing I can maybe do is just, well, if I substitute the negative 1, negative 1 um, in there, it's supposed to just work out so that 0 is equal to 0 because that's the point. Um, this equation works out. But maybe... Um, Oh, the point negative 1, negative 1 also lies on the circumference of the circle. So I can also substitute that into the equation. Then I have negative 1, negative a squared plus negative 1 minus b squared is also equal to r squared. And then I can maybe just, just to eliminate at least the r so long so that I don't have three missing variables but maybe two. Um, you see the r squared and the r squared, it's the same thing. So I can make these two things equal. Then I have a squared plus 2 minus b squared is equal to minus 1 minus a squared plus minus 1 minus b squared. And then I have at least an equation just in terms of a and b. Now I'm trying to think of something else that's maybe going to give me an equation in terms of a and b. Um, I haven't used this equation at all at the moment. Okay, so the point c, which um, is the center of the circle AB that I'm looking for is also does also lie on this circle. So maybe it's not a bad idea to substitute the A and the B in there. Then I have another equation in terms of A and B. And I can do simultaneous equations and solve um, the A and the B. Um, so the C is the coordinates AB, which if I substitute that into my straight line equation, this is one equation. Maybe I should just simplify this a little bit first um, before I do the second substitution because this is long and crazy. 
um, I have a squared plus 4 minus 2b minus 2b is minus 4b plus b squared is equal to, if I multiply out these two brackets, um, basically what I'm doing just so you know in my brain what's going on. Um, I'm multiplying these two brackets, so negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. Then I've got plus a plus a, which is plus 2a, plus a squared. And then same thing here, I will have negative 1 times negative 1 is 1, um, plus b plus b, which is plus 2b, and then plus b squared. And um, let's group all of this together. I think I'm just going to take everything to one side. So I have a squared minus a squared, which will fall away. And then um, I have, let's do the letters, the numbers first. So one on this side, I have one plus one is two. And then four minus two is going to be two minus 4b minus 2b is minus 6b plus b squared minus b squared will fall away and then minus 2a is equal to 0. Oh, and this is a lot simpler. I can even divide it by 2 and it becomes 1 minus 3b minus a is 0. This is a lot simpler than what I had here. Um, is my one equation, 1 minus 3b um, minus a is 0. And the second equation, the equation that they gave to me, 3x, which the x is a, plus 4y, which the y is b, plus 7 is equal to 0. And I'm going to do simultaneous equations. So from this one, I can get the a alone by just taking it to that side. The a is 1 minus 3b, which I'm going to substitute in there. The a is 1 minus 3b plus 4b plus 7 is 0. And I'm going to solve this equation quickly, which this is two linear equations, really not that difficult. 3 plus 7 is 10 minus 9b plus 4b is minus 5b. Jump the 5b over. So b is 2 and then if I go back there I have a is 1 minus 3b which is 2 and then the a is going to be 1 minus 6 which is negative 5. Okay so this helps me a lot. Um, I'm trying to find the um, equation of the circle right so I need the a, the b and the r but um, once I have the a and the b, this equation, this question really becomes a lot easier very quickly. Um, so, the equation of, um, let's just quickly look at that, 3a plus, um, oh, no. So, okay, so the center of the circle I just calculated the a and the b, which is negative 5 and 2, right? The center of the circle is going to be at negative 5 and 2. Um, wow, this is a great question. And then um, the radius of the circle, if that is negative 5, 2, um, and that is 0, 2, um, you can see the, that C value, I just calculated as negative 5, 2, and the P value there is 0, 2. Um, since the Y values 2 and 2 is on the same level, that is an exact horizontal line. So from negative 5 to 0, it's 5 units, the radius of the circle is 5. Um, but you can also just use, if, if you didn't notice that, you can also just use the distance formula with your center which is at negative 5, 2 and that P there which is 0, 2 um, and then with that I'm going to calculate the radius of the circle the radius of the circle is going to be distance formula difference in x minus 5 minus 0 squared 
plus difference in y which is 2 minus 2 squared and you see that becomes 0 so this is negative 5 squared 25 and then root 25 or you can just type it into your calculator but you get the radius as um, 5 units so the equation of this circle which is the thing that was asked is going to be x plus 5 squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to 25. You see I substitute the center there but with opposite sides so the minus 5 becomes plus 5 in the equation the 2 becomes negative 2 and then this should be radius squared which is then 5 units. Um, for those more mathematically inclined I'm just going to quickly do this again um, by substituting strictly into the formula so you can see where this comes from. The formula is x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is radius squared. So I have the a which is negative 5 squared plus the y minus b which is 2 squared is equal to radius which is 5 squared and then you see the minus minus 5 becomes x plus 5 and then the y minus 2 and the 5 squared 25 that's where I'm coming from. Okay and then uh, question 34.2 says determine the length of the diameter DE. Now obviously if the radius is 5 34.2 um, DE is going to be twice the radius which is then 10 units um, you don't really even need to do anything there okay um, I hope this helped and um, I hope you really also enjoy the analytical as much as me good luck in preparing this and um, yeah enjoy your lockdown and be safe